Hello, Luigi Vampire here, and for this video I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the Books Without Borders plugin. What this plugin does is allow you to save uh, written books in game to text files on the server, and vice versa, you can save text files from the server into written books in game. As with all plugins, dev.bucket.org. Books Without Borders in the search bar and pull it out of the list. Now, Akira Akiba is the author of this one. Uh, go to the recent files on the right. And we've got version 1.2.3 here. I've tested this on a 1.4.7 server it is now. Uh, sorry, the 1.4.7 client and it's Craft Bucket 2.5.9.0 that I've been using. I haven't had any problems whatsoever. I get the jar file, load it into the plugins folder, restart your server, and that should generate all the configs. Have a look at those quickly. There's not much in here. Um, duplicate books, I'll explain that in a second. The separator, I'll explain that in a second. Uh, books for new players, you can give a new player a book as they start. Uh, you can give that player a message as they get the book. And when you're loading books and such, do you require a book and quill to create the book? Doesn't make much sense now until I go in game, I suppose, and show you. Right, well, first of all, you want to make a book, you're going to need a book and quilt. I'll just write a little something in. Hello, world. Sign it. Now normally, once you get this far, that's it, the book is no longer able to be edited. But one good thing about the Books Without Borders plugin is the ability to unsign books. So BWB unsign, and that returns the book back to its editable state, where you can then go and um, make changes, rename it, whatever you want really. So you have your written book, uh, if you want to save that book, BWB save. And then that will save it into the plugins folder uh, well within the folder for books without borders it will create a folder with your name in it and save it in there so we got a books Luigi Vampa and there's a book I just saved now if I was to try and save another book with the same title uh, it won't let me do it because I'd be overwriting the other book but you can as long as you append true to the end give it permission to overwrite the book it's just a nice little feature to stop you overwriting things accidentally and then you can load books BWB load that will give you a list of books that are available to you to load uh, to load a book you either add the item listing number or type in the title of the book and there we are, I've just given myself the book well I've just loaded the book that I've just created now I can also give books I actually would load if you append true and false to the end of this, you're not overwriting anything, but you can set whether the book is loaded, signed or unsigned. So if I load book one with true, it's a signed book. If I load book one with false, it's an unsigned book. You can also give books to players. Uh, BWB give book one to Luigi Vampa. Now, as it was before with the duplicates, I've now got four copies of the same book. How many duplicates of a book do you want to give to a player? And in the configs it was set to five. And again, with the... No, I don't want to reload that. Title author separator. When it writes the file name to the server, that's the separator there in the middle. Just the comma. You can set that. And then when you load the books, does it need a, you to have a book and quill to create it? Stops excessive duplication, I'd imagine. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the commands you give to a player. There is a public folder as well where you can save books to the public folder, load them from the public folder, give books from the public folder. Um, you can also delete books. I've deleted mine yet. BWB delete. And there's one book in there to be deleted. Again, you can either use the item listing number or the title of the book, and then that would have just deleted that book from my player folder. Now, with all the public ones, there's save public, 
and that will save it to the public folder load public and that will load it from the public folder so there's six books in there now that I can load um, I'm feeling a bit of Edgar Allan Poe will have that but I might think he's insufficient and want to edit it so I'll load that as false and that will give me an unsigned book from the public folder which in this case is the pit of the pendulum done uh, another handy little feature of this uh, plugin is the ability to do it through signs. So create a sign, BWB on the top line. There's there's only a limited number of signs that you can make for this. I think there's give, encrypt, and decrypt. I'll go into the encrypt and decrypt commands in a second. So BWB give, and then I have a book called Vampire. And now, if I just clear the inventory, when you click the button, you hmm, no book for me. Oh, I don't think I've got permission actually. Well, you can see there whether the sign is correctly configured or not, because uh, it will turn green. If I put something in there that isn't correct, it will give me a red line. So, BWB, give, there's no book in there with that title, so that bottom line should appear red. There you go. Tells you whether you made a mistake or not. And again with the encrypt and decrypt, uh, BWB, I load from the public folder. I think Pen the Pendulum was number five. Now hold the book in your hand. BWB encrypt, and then you have to add a key. Now you remember this key because if you encrypt the book with a key, forget the key, you won't be able to decrypt it again. So I'll just use the word toast, it's sufficient. And then when you try and open the book, it's all well gibberish, encrypted which could be a nice little function if you are running factions or uh, some sort of roleplay server and yeah many many different uses for that and then to decrypt it BWB decrypt and then the key again and that returns the book back to a readable state now I think on its own that's quite a nice little plugin but it's when you start to mix it with some of the bookshelf plugins that I think this thing really comes into its own. Because it used to be that you know you couldn't have any sort of use other than decoration for the bookshelves. But now with the bookshelf plugins, you can open up the shelves, put books in them, and actually have a proper working library full of clues and wonderful information and such. So I'll just go back and have a look at some of the permissions. Uh, halfway down the page, a few commands and permissions here. There is a list of all the commands there that I just went over. Oh, I didn't use reload. Uh, that just reloads the configuration file. Now here the, you have the permissions at the bottom. Books without borders. Admin grants all permissions. Uh, defaults to op. Uh, Books Without Borders Use is going to be the one that you're going to give to players so they can save, load and delete from their own personal directories. And then the individual commands, uh, load public, save public, encrypt, decrypt, whether you want to allow players to be able to unsign books, give books, and give books from the public folder. And that is Books Without Borders. Upload text files and download books to text files. A key rate keeper. Have a nice day. Talk to you later.